Hello, so this video today is going to be uh, essentially us differentiating the function uh, modulus of x. So we want to differentiate with respect to x, uh, the modulus of x. So if we just recall for a second, uh, so the modulus of x or the absolute value of x is just defined to be the square root of x squared. So that's what it's defined to be. And if we sketch a graph of this um, with y there, x there, it looks something like this. Um, well, obviously with tracer lines and that. Um, and yeah, this is just a, a graph of the modulus of x. So of course it's a function, it's a, um, it's a many to one function, so it is still a function. Um, so we can differentiate this, uh, this function here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So when we differentiate this function, uh, this is just gonna be the same as differentiating uh, so differentiating the square root of x squared like that. So we know that square rooting a number is just exactly the same as raising a number to the power of a half. So this is just the same as x squared to the power of a half. OK, great. So we've got that. And then now we can just use the chain rule. So we've done plenty of chain rule examples in my previous videos. We can just use the chain rule now to differentiate this. And if we do that, so we're differentiating this uh, x squared function within the square root function. And so to do that, we can just use the chain rule formula. So we're going to differentiate with respect to x squared, this x squared to the power of a half, and then multiply that by the derivative of the x squared, but with respect to x. Um, so yeah, that's our chain rule formula. So, so we know that when we differentiate uh, the first function, so when we differentiate this function here, so with this one, we bring the power of a half to the front. Uh, we keep that x squared inside there, and we take away one from the power. Uh, so just differentiating this uh, variable to the power of a half with respect to that variable. Um, so that's the first uh, derivative done. And then the second one, so differentiating x squared with respect to x. So we've done this before, so it's just 2x. So you bring the power to the front and take one from the power of the x, uh, like so. Okay, so we get that there. And then we've got, okay, so a half times two, well, that's just gonna give us one. And then we've got x squared to the power of one over two. So this is gonna be the square root of x squared down there. And then multiplied by the uh, by the x over there. So that's just gonna be an x there. Uh, but we know that the, uh, the square root of x squared is just defined to be the modulus of x. And so in fact, we can just say that this is equal to x over the modulus of x. And in fact, uh, this is actually just the same as well as uh, the modulus of x over x. So they're just uh, the same thing. Um, so yeah, so in conclusion then, what we can say is that differentiating uh, the modulus of x is gonna give us the modulus of x over x. Uh, and that's exactly the same as just x over the modulus of x. Um, and just one thing to note is that this derivative is not defined when x equals zero. So x is not allowed to be zero. And that's because our derivative gets a, uh, a zero on the denominator here, which means that we don't have a defined derivative. Um, and of course, we can see from the graph here that we've got uh, a point uh, at x equals zero. So we can clearly see that there's no derivative defined at that point. Because um, it could be minus one, it could be one, it's not defined. So that's why we don't have, um, we can't have x is zero in order for this derivative uh, to be defined. Um, but yeah, that's our final result for the video uh, today.